welcome to today's episode of Trending. My name is Nancy Isim and as you already know, I am your host. Now, I might be wearing blue, but I do not feel blue. I hope you feel good today as much as I feel good. Now, you know what this show is about. We bring you everything and everyone that is trending. And you know, of course, the trending is brought to you by our darling sponsors, Airtel. Now, before I get into the business of the day, which I cannot wait for, because my guest today is so special, I'll go on a short break, but when I come back, I'll reveal who she is when I come back. <laughs> guys welcome back it is still trending brought to you by Airtel. it's still nancy is now on today's show i have with me a nigerian actress and entrepreneur allow me to introduce to you miss doris simeon <laughs> hey hey welcome on the show <laughs> thank you welcome welcome good to have you how are you feeling i'm very well thank you yes like i said i might be wearing blue but i don't feel blue i hope you <laughs> feel bright as well yeah i am good. blue is bright i know i know mm -hmm. sometimes they say you feel blue meaning you feel down but ah. i don't <laughs> oh, wow people will talk i, I know. tell you too much english these days <laughs> <Has it? laughs> but let's talk about your style you look really simple but chic so let's talk about your style please um i like being simple Okay. And um, not that because I don't like being glamorous, but mm -hmm. because I feel more comfortable, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, looking simple and maybe just touch it up with some makeup and some accessories and all those things. Mm -hmm. But any occasion I go, mostly, you can always tell me what to wear. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so how were you feeling today? What was the inspiration behind your outfit? Um, I actually wanted to feel cheeky. Okay. You know. All those, um, you know, be free. Yeah, exactly. all, you know, Classy. You, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> if I had my way, I would have come with a bumper shirt. Oh, whoa, that would have been sexy. You know what I'm saying. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk about the Nigerian movie industry as mm -hmm. it's seen as one with different branches. You say the English, the Yoruba, it's sometimes called the Yoruba, and Hollywood, the Yollywood, mm -hmm. that. And the Igbo wood, the, and the Hausa wood. The Hausa wood, and all of that. <laughs> How true and what is your thought, please? Um, I, I think we're all Nigerian. We should just um, try to, you know, be one, mm -hmm. have one voice. Mm -hmm. And that way the industry will be larger and, you know, be more interesting for other people out there to exactly. want to come and join us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're trying. Hollywood is trying to come in, mm -hmm. um, South Africans and what have you have been mm -hmm. trying to come in one way or the other. Exactly. But then we should still we still need to work together yes. and also try to, you know, mention that one name rather than trying to, you know, differentiate ourselves mm -hmm. and not being biased or mm -hmm. tribalistic about mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. tribe or the language that we speak. We speak, exactly. Now you happen to also be um, a producer, you're not just an actor, you're also a producer. But what is that thing you think needs to be changed and implemented in Nollywood for proper development and change? I think we should, um, I think we're forgetting about our story, we're forgetting mm -hmm. about our culture mm -hmm. because we want um, the Western world to always recognize and see what we're doing. Yes, fine. But then, do you know that these people want to see the traditional part of that country? Sure. You know, and we're forgetting that already. Mm -hmm. I think we should just um, go back to the history and um, try to do more research. There's still more stories to talk about. Yes. There's still more story to, you know, shoot and let other people see out there. I heard that um, Oscar is trying to bring in indigenous um, <coughs> category. Oh, wow. Yeah, from all over the world. The world. So, mm -hmm. is it? Um, um, foreign Nigerian, yeah, this yeah. thing that you want to go and <laughs> give to them that they've not seen, seen you yes. know. They want to see that love story from the traditional way. How do you people toast yourself? How do you people get to marry? Yeah, How do yes. you know? They've had a, a lot of white people out there are like, ah, I heard Africa, they still have lions and they're still walking on the yeah, street. Naked, you know? So around. they still feel that that thing is still there. Mm. They don't believe that we have um, all this internet uh, mm. or this um, technology. Yeah, exactly. Light and everything. So they, they want to see that mm. because they they brought it out anyway. Exactly. So why do you want to show them that we also have it here? Mm, yeah, so yeah, fine, we have it. But then, how about that tradition? How about exactly. that culture? Mm, mm. So I think those are the things we should go back into. Amazing. 
Amazing. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Now, I'd like to get a little personal with you. Mm. Um, it's been over two years since you separated from your ex-husband. Five years. Five years! Whoa, that's so long. Going to six years. I must have been living on that <laughs> cave. <laughs> <laughs> but you separated from your husband, um, Mr. Daniel Ade mm -hmm. Minokan. How has life been for you as a no. single parent combining your career? Well, I thank God for everything, mm -hmm. and um, I, I just see it as one of those phases you face in life, and mm -hmm. then you don't have to dwell in whatever mistakes or whatever problems that you have faced mm -hmm. past in your life, but mm -hmm. to just um, forge ahead mm -hmm. and try to, you know, make ends meet the mm -hmm. more and try to impact mm -hmm. life and affect life positively mm -hmm. rather than dwelling in your past and then dying in your wallowing and you know, crying. Yeah. So it's just one of those things that you just need to face in life. Mm -hmm. I know it's a very huge part of your life. No matter how much you try to move away from it, mm -hmm. you still come back. How have you been able to deal with people constantly talking about it? You know, sometimes you want to move on and think you've moved on, and somebody just comes on social media, on blogs, and still talks about it. I mean, now you're in an interview, and I'm still asking you about <laughs> it. So how do you manage to cope and still keep your sanity? I see it as... Um, <coughs> I always say to even my younger ones at home that, mm. see, I see it as just one of those things that will always come back in life. Yes. But it's now left for you to want to still dwell or wallow in it whenever you hear about it. Mm. Or try to just shove it aside and move on mm. with your life. Mm. That's the way I see life. Mm. I don't, you know, life is not, it's we people, we humans are the ones that take life so oh, rigidly. Yes. But if you just see it as okay this is one of those things Some that things you will always control. go yeah mm -hmm. you will mm -hmm. always go through in your life it's just one of those stories that you can always come and tell people that see this is the story of my life, my life yes. and this is how i went through it this is how i got over it this mm -hmm. is how i survived it yeah. did you at any point hate him and um the woman which we all know said at damascus you at any any time hate them for you know putting you through that um I would say not really okay. because um, it's just, um, I don't, like I said, I don't take life really seriously like that. Mm -hmm. If um, they say one man's food is another man's poison. True. Yeah. So if you decide that, okay, I don't want to, you can't force anybody. They said you can always force the, the horse to the water river. You can't can force the, you know, the mm -hmm. water inside his mouth. Mm -hmm. So it's just one of... Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. What if you were there and in between the line you died along the line and all true. those things? Yeah, true. so why would I want to just wallow and still true. dwell in that? True, true. But do we see you getting married anytime soon? Is anybody <laughs> that you're already, you know, in plans with? <laughs> well, I say this a lot of time that if God says yes, it's time, it's time. But, mm -hmm. you know, we'll always want to, you know, um, plan our own life. It's yes. God that has the ultimate, ultimate plan, plan yes. you know. But if God says it's time, it's time. But right now, mm -hmm. I'm in love with my job. Okay. I'm, live, I'm in love with my career. Yes. I'm in love with my son. I'm yes. in love with everything around me right. and the people around me mm. and also trying to affect lives positively. Yay. Great. Thank you so much for that. Thank now, you. it was rumored sometimes that you visited Mount of Fire Miracles uh, Ministry to pray to God to reclaim your ex-husband. Oh my God, people. <laughs> As in, How true is this? How did you feel when you heard this? <laughs> well, um, we are all religious people. Mm. You're either a Christian or Muslim or even an Abbalist. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Mm -hmm. We have where we go to worship sure. God Almighty, you know. So I go to different churches. I go for programs if, if I'm called mm -hmm. for it. And I, go, I always tell people I go to any Bible-believing church gotcha. mm -hmm. to worship, mm -hmm. to pray. Mm -hmm. Even if I go to pray for him and I go to pray for my son, it's still the father prayer. of my son. Sure. Sure. And it's prayer. It's not that I'm going there to curse him. Sure. So, sure. yeah, I went to Mountain of Fire. My sister worshipped there. She invited me for a program, and I went for it. Okay, okay. Well, I wonder how we got out, and everybody just said, okay, you know what, it's because of our husband, which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we also gathered that you were in hot secret romance. Ooh, 
I like hot secret mm. romances. Wow. But this time they said you were in hot secret romance with a popular Nigerian journalist, um, the this day political editor, <laughs> Mr. Wale. Would you like to clear the air on this? Everybody knows that Wale Alale got married August this year. Okay. And not to me. No. <laughs> exactly. Good point. So, so, I don't know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people will talk. It's yes. just one of those things. True. It's true. one of the price you pay as a celebrity, as anyways. A celebrity. True, true. Thank you for that. Now, do you have any memory that you would not like to remember, but you don't mind sharing with Nancy on the show? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Losing my parent within one year. Well, it's just one of those things. We didn't How recently it. was this? Wow. Um, I would say my my mom is nine years now, I think, and my wow. dad eight. Oh wow! Yeah, eight. So between a frame of one year, you lost both of them. How did you manage to pull through? That's you see. That's the the funniest part is that the. The last one was my dad, mm. and um, I just had my son then. He was just three months old. Oh, wow. I, was, um, <clears throat> I was producing a movie mm. where I'm playing two part. Mm. I was producing, I was playing two part two in the months. movie. Wow. I just had my baby, and I just lost my dad. Oh, my God. It was, <clears throat> it was a very traumatic period for me, but I didn't even show it at all. I just like, okay. Stay strong. Let's just go on. And you were close to both parents. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. And it's so good to see that you're a source of inspiration to a lot of people mm -hmm. and a source of strength. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we are fast approaching the Christmas period. Mm. Yo, Merry Christmas. No, I Merry danced like that when I was young. <laughs> Not, Not that anymore, I have, right? <laughs> I have responsibilities. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you have to dish out yeah, the you know? um, Christmas gifts to everybody. Then so I used to dance. Oh, thank God. Because ah, you're getting clothes. clothes. Yeah. Hey, my, my Cinderella dress is coming. Hey, yeah, I know this guy. This shoe, yeah. But now, ah, <laughs> not dancing, no. Yeah, so what are your plans? <clears throat> Actually, I um, I've not really decided. Okay. Yeah. I was supposed to, you know, go abroad. Okay. Spend the Christmas with my son mm -hmm. and the New Year together. Mm. I, I think that's still the plan, though. Still the plan. That's still okay, the plan. Great. Well, that's an enjoyment plan. <laughs> I love that plan. <laughs> enjoyment. Enjoyment. Spend money. <laughs> for your son, it's enjoyment. But for you, yeah, it's, it's enjoyment, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so enjoyment. Well, yeah. all right, guys. I'll leave you with the video of the day, but do not go anywhere because when I come back, I'll still have Miss Doris Simon right here on my heart set. Be right back. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video of the day. That was really, really funny. Thumbs up to my producer, Jeff, and also the editor who brought up that. Now, if you're just watching us, you are watching Trending, what brought to you by Airtel. And I have Miss Doris Simeon right here in the studio with me on Trending, and it's been so much fun on the show. Not so much to remember, it's been very insightful and very revealing, and we've just really had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Mm -hmm. and I appreciate you for being open with Thank me. Thank you. Thank you. Right now we move to the fast five questions where you are given 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can. Mm. Okay. Yes. Are you ready? <coughs> <laughs> Time starts. <laughs> you're, starts. you're stretching, Abby. Yes. <laughs> Time starts now. Brazil or England? England. Your was fair? Was fair. Mm -hmm. Death. Mm. Your role model? My mom. Your first crush? Uh, 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 first crush, first crush, first crush. Ah, there's a, girl, a boy in my school, secondary mm. school then. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you not touch me till I finish first school. Finish. Sure, you're born with your eyes. <laughs> Most embarrassing <laughs> moment? <laughs> um, fighting with a cabman. Oh, your favorite place in the world? I have not been there before, though. Mm. Paris. Paris. Oh, mm. okay. Your favorite song? <laughs> um, YG, Heart of a Stone. Wow. Shoes or sneakers? Sneakers. <laughs> tall <laughs> or short men? Um, tall. Mm. Most memorable day? Having my son. What is the last thing you bought online? Um, shoe. On a scale of one to ten, rent your voice. Okay, let me don't do Jolo. Five. 
<laughs> well, thank you very much. You did very well <laughs> thank under you. 60 seconds. Very, very well. Now we'll move on to the next tool of the day, which is the tribe, where you get to give us full meanings of some social media abbreviations that you possibly know. Ha. Exam. Exam time. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, L O L. Laugh out loud. Good. T B T. Okay. To be. T B T. Something that happens on social media on a particular day. Ah. I used to see it. I don't know. T B T. T B T. <laughs> to be T. <tea>. To be T. <laughs> <To be tea. laughs> it means throw back Thursday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you want to throw back your picture on a Thursday, it's a throwback. Oh, I was throw stone one day. <laughs> CBS throwback stone. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. FYI. Ah, hey. Um, Do you want me to help you? Yes. It means for your information. Hey. Yes. So ah, it's okay. <laughs> okay. B R B. Be right back. Good. Huh. HBD. HBD. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. BFF. Best friend for life. Forever. No, oh, forever. Yeah, I'll still give that to you. <laughs> Very well. WCE. WCE. Woman Crush Wednesday. No, E. 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 Yes. Woman Crush. Crush. Encouragement. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you went far. <laughs> you left all the days and went all the way. I never inspired. It is woman crush every day. <laughs> Encouragement. <one. laughs> well, thank you so much for that, guys. Those are most of the social media abbreviations we have for you mm -hmm. on the show today. But let us go on a short break. And when we get back, it'll be time for Doris Simon to read some nasty comments. I we'll be right know. back. I've been waiting <laughs> for that. Waiting. <laughs> Right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Trending, brought to you by Airtel. This is a nasty comments part of the show where we get to see some nasty things that some people have to say um, to our guest, Miss Doris Simeon, on social media. It is time for the nasty comments segment. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay, so I'm just going to give this to you. It's just okay. about three. Please read and react to them individually. Okay, Peter said, now I see the reason her husband left her. Oh my God. What kind of sleepers combination is this one? So wrong, and the yeah, yeah hair she puts makes her look ras. Oh. Abba. It's one of those things. I'm sure it should be one of those. <coughs> mm -mm. Even Jesus Christ that died on the cross of Calvary for our sins was criticized. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Zane Girl said Doris is a beautiful woman but lacks sense of style. Shit happens. Mm, sense of style. Maybe because I'm looking be... at you now and you look. No, maybe I should be tying rapper <laughs> on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, I just tie the rapper on, <laughs> yeah, and walk on the street and say, they say I don't get style. <laughs> no, I don't get style. How do you see my style? <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous said, ha ha ha. She looks like is something from Jerusky Park. The hairdo is heel advised. Ojuju Kalaba. I don't even know the hairdo that we are talking about. I'm sure it will probably be a post about you on. Uh, okay. On I'm blog. thinking maybe the the thread I did for um, Kunle Afolayo's uh, October One okay, movie premiere, the '60s. They oh. said the dress code is '60s, and I went to the '60s. And if people are so, it's it's only people that. Are, has an um, inferiority complex, complex yeah. and um, they are not even sure about themselves, mm -hmm. and they want to be known. Mm -hmm. They want to be noticed. Mm -hmm. They will always they say anything. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even out to to hear only positive things they about me. No, it's just true. one true. of those things. That's the where you would I mean, always. A mother's wore those hairstyles. So uh, no, I'm about? going. Ah, uh, they just start. They never talk. <laughs> <coughs> When I start doing my Coco Shukuna, <laughs> hey, that, get, get, they will know what's up. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Me. Thank you for being such an angel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hopefully we have you soon again, yes? No problem. I hope you had fun, though. I did. You did? Yay, thank <laughs> you. All right, guys, I'll leave you with the top five. Enjoy. I'll be right back.
Okay, guys, this is where I get to close the curtains and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. You all are angels. Don't forget to join the conversation. Follow us on Twitter at Hip TV and on Instagram at Trending on Hip TV. You can also follow me if you wish at Nancy Isime Official on Instagram only. I hope you had fun with our guest today, Doris Simeon, as she's really spilled a lot and she got to talk to us about some things that you know a bit personal i hope you enjoyed that you can also watch us online at www.hittv.tv until i see you next time don't forget to leave love and laugh i love you because god loves you more bye bye